Hi all. Hi all. How are you? So previously we did some uh, red light thing. So here you can see we have the audio quality. We have a uh, different testing. Uh, it has great got the great speed, but we don't have the smoke. So we don't have that uh, the car feeling uh, that it's a start right. So we will do that today. So we will just uh, move to Niagara. It won't be that hardcore Niagara. We will just make our uh, smoke particle exhaust. Okay. So I will just create the. Uh, folder called fx i will color it as the pinkish type yep this one so uh, and i will keep all the textures related to fx inside there so texture uh, so i'm just uh, importing this uh, t underscore smoke i will put the link of this uh, material or the texture inside my description so it is just 8 by 8 smoke you will also get this uh, texture inside the uh, starter content so i have taken it from there next uh, like go to the fx folder just right click and uh, go to fx and select niagara meter so uh, if you will look at carefully it is the exhaust will be somewhat like the fountain but we have to edit it for our taste so we will do that yep so i will just select the fountain just click finish and we will name it as niagara meter so ne underscore exhaust so double click it uh, so first thing uh, we will delete the gravitation thing we don't want that so where is that gravity force just delete it uh, now we want the uh, that these are going upward but i want it to the x direction so we do have the add velocity in cone so i will just make a z0 and uh, i will make uh, x1 right this is good uh, next thing uh, the default material i don't want that uh, we want that smoke which we have created inside the texture i will just create a material folder to materials so just right click convert to material and uh, m underscore exhaust and i will like move it to the materials folder sometimes i think my pc is slow okay so next just uh, click this and uh, it will be the translucent so we uh, would get uh, these nodes available uh, so just click right the particle color so see uh, like we will select the color inside the nigra emitter so we are just picking that color and we will mix it with the uh, with the texture so now with the alpha we will just multiply it with the alpha particles and we will make it to the opacity next uh, we will like go to the exhaust uh, okay for the emissive color we have to multiply it again with the rgb or the r color will be good connect to emissive check for the yep so this is the output uh, still this is not what i want uh, no i think uh, this is uh, the all four i just want the alpha to multiply it with the alpha of the particle color and at upper side i will just multiply the uh, particle color with the rgb yep and it will just be okay i will just move it to the base color and look for the output yep so i just i'm not using the emissive color and uh, i'm using the base color so we can get the transparent and uh, 
where the smoke we are just getting the smoke so just save it and we will use this material inside our nigra emitter so we will just select this browse go to the nigra emitter and select this material inside the sprite renderer uh, okay you should have those coming out but okay uh, let it render it okay these things is visible but very slightly so uh, yep yeah, it is visible now uh, first thing what we will do we will just go to the sprite renderer as these are the 8 by 8 bit so we have to mention it go to the sub UB and include the 8 8 so it is uh, it will subdivide and under the particle update just animation uh, just add the sub UV animation and inside it it uh, already take from 0 to 63 so total it will be 64 just click save and uh, to make it uh, like looks cooler I will just increase the size so we can just uh, change the size inside the initial particle initialized particle sorry uh, and here we do have the uniform sprite size main and max I will just crank it up from the 10 to 20 and now it is looking like a smoke right okay uh, okay next for the spawn rate uh, we are setting it to 90 but I will like make it to 300 or the 500 see now it is giving us that smoke effect but uh, I want to change this the spawn rate according to our rpm of the engine so I will just create a user exposed uh, a variable so it will be a float as we want to have the float variable inside the spawn rate so it will be a float so uh, it uh, it is created by user so that is why it is saying user uh, so just spawn rate uh, or rather I should uh, like rpm and uh, okay just uh, let me for the spawn rate like so we can just click this uh, icon and uh, put user spawn rate so now these things are connected so we are done with the uh, Niagara emitter so these are the only things which we have to add now we have to find a way that how this thing uh, can be added in the car first when you will try to like move it inside the world it won't work because Niagara emitter we, we need a Niagara system so to use the Niagara emitter inside the Niagara system uh, one way to do it just right click create Niagara system so and okay so I will just spell it as ns underscore exhaust yep okay so we do have those things here right spawn rate we have connected the spawn rate okay uh, okay I think we did something okay we are good so we do have uh, this variable here so we can change this variable with our code uh, okay so we will move to the car side now because uh, now we can see that this is all working fine uh, but it won't work because we have connect uh, that we have uh, connected the spawn rate with our variable which is default zero so next thing we will move to our car so open the car BP go to the skeleton mesh and what we want to do I want to create two sockets uh, like for the left exhaust and for the right exhaust so just click the root right leg and uh, add socket uh, do the same uh, one more time so right click add socket okay just spell right underscore exhaust same the second one l underscore exhaust 
okay this is good go to the uh, back so we can place them okay this is the left one uh, just try to put it uh, like in the right one or the left one uh, you don't have to be that accurate uh, because it will work the uh, you can put it in the middle uh, I will do the same with the right wing. Uh, so just zoom and uh, we can have the battle placement for them. So this is from the back side. We will put from the left or right side too. So we can get the better context of it. Uh, Okay, we do have those things here, uh, I guess. So now we can uh, look these things in the perspective view if these are correct. Yep, they are very accurate. Uh, if we will click the right, the right one is wrong. Yep, so we have to do that again. Uh, no, the left, the right. Okay. So, I think we are good. Again, check in the perspective view. Just to look. Okay, these are perfect. Just check again. Okay, so we have these things in place, uh, but uh, look for the x-axis. So, uh, so currently they are looking forward, but we want our exhaust to like move backward side. So we will just rotate them. So just uh, rotate them uh, by 180 degree, and you should be good to go. Right? Okay. So we have the x-axis and uh, we will do the same for the left hand side too. Just rotate them and uh, we are good to go. 180. Check. Okay. So we have everything in place and we have saved the skeleton. So now what we have done, we have created the two extra uh, sockets. So if I want, uh, like what I will do, I will just add that uh, Niagara system to these sockets. So we don't have to add the location or anything like that. So it will be automatically done. Okay, now these things are done. We have done the FX part. We have done the skeleton part. Now we have to add those things inside our blueprint, right? So first thing, we will just go to the C++ class of our character, the character base. So first thing to uh, use the Niagara system inside the C++ file you have to add a module uh, Okay, my Visual Studio is taking time Okay, just go to the uh, the project file dot build dot cs This one So first thing is how do I know that I need extra module to add? So if you will type u Niagara component and press enter uh, yep it is opening okay so uh, it does include the module name it is Niagara now that module is not available here so that is why we have to explicitly add it uh, it's N Niagara N I A G A R A cool control S and Control Shift B just to compile the files. So the next thing is we have created the variable. It was a float. So we can how we can change that. So we have the function called set parameter, set float parameter. Yep. So we have this function under which we can change. The, uh, we can put the f name, or uh, the parameter name, and the value. So we will do that. Let me close this and uh, okay so it's success 
so we have included the module we can close this now so we can focus in our character the car base so first thing we need to have those two component for the Niagara for the left exhaust for the right exhaust so just go to the component here we are have defined those so just uh, below the parameter that parameter was for red light red back red light or rather i say back red light red light okay so now this is for the exhaust so you property i can just copy it from up two times and uh, so uh, we have to use niagara component component it is u niagara component and i want a pointer so first for the niagara system underscore uh, exhaust r so this is for the right hand side i will copy this and this will be for the left hand side so why we have created two because as you remember we have create we uh, have put the two exhaust system so that is why we are creating two so we can add to those places uh, okay so we will initialize them inside our uh, constructor so i will just do that exhaust l okay default so object u niagara component and uh, Niagara uh, Okay, uh, now what do we attach like we have to attach this component like inside our blueprint We can see the hierarchy where these things are connected. So the sound is connected to the match This thing is connected to the match. So but uh, the thing is we want to attach these smoke things to the back inside of the exhaust which is the part of the match so we will attach it to the match okay and next underscore exhaust r uh, uh, okay uh, we don't have the function so we have to include the niagara component niagara component so the thing is how do i know that uh, this is the file so same thing just when you will like u niagara component you can get the uh, the path of this so just add this uh, i don't know why it is giving red but it is at the same place okay but uh, okay it should compile fine next is i will just set up the attachment set up set up attachment so get mesh nope uh okay uh yeah one more thing uh we have right if this is the only statement which we will add then it will just provide the parent like it will attach to the mesh but we want to attach our component to the perfect uh particular socket which we have created inside the skeleton so we will just comma and uh, i will just put f name of the component which uh, i want to put so we are doing with the left one so we will just put this window details just copy uh, the spelling is very very important so make sure that you are copying it so i will do the same thing uh, for the right hand side uh, so it will be r yep so it will be the R exhaust and later right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we have the Niagara system in our blueprint, but we want to uh, to make those change with the variable which we have created, right? So uh, we we can either we can do that inside the tick function or we can have the uh, function uh, explicitly 
Uh, so what I will do inside the private section, uh, like after the movement function, I'll for exhaust preset. So first will be the void set increase smoke exhaust void set decrease smoke exhaust. So I will just uh, alt enter generate definition by declaration finish. Okay, so we do have those two functions. So what I will do uh, first, I will just move them after the tick because I will just call them from the tick. So right now, what we are doing inside the tick, we are just writing the RPM and we are setting the RPM value inside the material, right? So we will use the same concept inside uh, here. So if first I will get the load RPM. It will be vehicle component dot get engine rotation speed. So this is the RPM. Uh, I will put it like here. I will just replace these two. <coughs> I should have done the uh, similar thing uh, in previous tutorial, but okay, let it be. Uh, so what I will do, I will just check if. Uh, our RPM is greater than 1500 and uh, RPM is less than uh, 4000. Yep, it should be good. So I will just uh, call the set increase smoke exhaust, else, I will call the uh, set decrement smoke exhaust. So, what I'm doing here, like see our rpm curve goes like it whenever you are running a car like for our ideal uh, for the, like when you will start the car the engine starts moving so for our project we have done uh, the we have put the ideal rpm is 1200 so it will even if you are not moving the car the engine will rotate at 1200 that is uh, so i had just chosen a value which is greater than 1200 so from 1200 to the 4000 like here i will just increase the smoke value why is that like we are getting the power so when it, it is start decreases i don't want that much of uh, that much of a smoke so i'm i will just decrease it uh, uh, like after the 4000 okay so uh, for the okay so i will just put the ns underscore exhaust l so i will just use the uh, set float parameter parameter f name spawn count and here i have to put how many uh, smoke particles do i want i want the 500 in the increasing one okay so i will do the same thing with the right one so the right okay cool uh, perfect so i will do the same thing uh, like 250 or yep i just want uh, a very low smoke when uh, we are very uh, we are at very high speed or we, we are just not moving the car so i just want it to be decreased so we have set it uh, okay so now the next thing is uh, why i have put this spawn count here if you do remember when in the starting i have put the same variable inside our uh emitter system uh, like niagara system if you go to the user expose here it, it is saying spawn rate so we can just verify the okay uh we have uh, here the spawn rate yes it was good to review it <laughs> uh, okay it's control shift b and we, we should not get any error uh, i don't know why it is giving red uh, okay so it's a success uh, let's go back to our project go back to base just uh, click here here we do have these two and look for the location if they are correct 
uh, no, they are just at the right. So I think we have, yep. So it will be L here. Uh, so we, we have to like control S and control shift B. Uh, okay, so apart from it, it is perfect. And uh, as soon as it is compiled, we can test that. So it is succeeded. Let's try it. Uh, okay, <laughs> I will just restart it. Okay, just started. Let me go to the character BP. Just open the car. Wow, it is also taking time. Okay, uh, open full blueprint editor. Yep. So just check uh, if we have everything in place. Mm -hmm. No, nope, actually we do have um, uh, I think we have everything correct at our Visual Studio side, but we we uh, because we have attached it to the right exhaust and the left exhaust, uh, and it did happen in my uh, testing time. So what we have to do, we have to just create those bones again. So go to the mesh, open the car. See, uh, those are the changes gone. So it is always a good idea to just click save in the middle. So just add socket, again add socket. Okay, this thing sucks actually. Okay, just go to the back. Let's see if I'm setting for the left hand side. Okay, just set it for the front. Uh, no, not from the front, from the left. Uh, okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, we will do the same for the right one. I think it will. It's a good idea if we like take it uh, like little far. Okay. So I will just save it. Uh, okay, so I uh, what I did, I did the same thing which I did the in uh, like the few minutes ago. Uh, so let's test those things out. Let me check the position. Uh, okay, just go to the car, just assets and reload it. And now we will check if we have everything in place. Uh, for the left, for the right, uh, we just kind of reverse, <laughs> like the left hand one is right one. Okay, uh, we don't have any issue. Uh, yep, we have just put the R in the R. Uh, so it's it just not that much of a big issue. Uh, we can test night right now. Okay, one more thing, uh, we haven't put uh, like put the Niagara system asset, so just choose it here. Compile and save, or else it will give you the error. Uh, okay, so just play. See, we do have the. Let me crank up the audio. Can, can you like look at it? As you will see. Okay, like you can see the spawn count, it is too low. Uh, but I think the sprite side is. Very high. I, I, I will like decrease it slightly. So just go to the nigrameter, go to the initial particle, and uh, I will like 10 to 20 will be good for me. And we can check. Yep, better than before. Now this is what we want. See, and if we will increase the speed as if it will go high. Again, like we have crossed the 4000 value, so we are again like uh, cutting it down. So, just to check the things out uh, or like visually, what we can do, the, the official uh, tutorial is over, <laughs> by the way. So, just begin play. Uh, we will just execute a command for show debug vehicle compile and save and 
fifty. Uh, we are at twelve hundred RPM. So below fifty. As it is from fifteen hundred, the uh, particles are going to increase, and after the four thousand, it is all gone. So we are getting there. After getting into going up. So this was it, uh, the smoke system. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any doubt regarding the tutorial, you can comment me or you can message me on my Facebook or anything like that. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.